So I have seen the reporting coming out of Ukraine about the RTS Moskva, a miss or a cruiser in the Russian Navy. It is the flagship and most powerful ship in the Black Sea Fleet. The Russians are claiming that it was an uh, an issue in the weapons bay, uh, causing them to have to evacuate. However, the Ukrainians are claiming that they hit it with a Neptune missile. Now, this is significant because a Neptune missile is not something you just kind of point and shoot. You usually have to have some sort of radar lock. Uh, through ground-based radar or overwatch with drones. The Ukrainians are not using their drones that were given to them from Turkey for Black Sea overflight. Um, What they're using them for is potentially to take out the ground forces from the Russians in the east. So that means that some other military potentially could have provided some intelligence on where the ship's location was. Mm -hmm. If you've looked at some of the previous... um, overflights from the United States, you've seen that the U.S. has had some of its most advanced drones flying over the Black Sea. The Black Sea is generally considered controlled by Turkey, uh, especially the entrance and exit of that that body of water. Mm-hmm. So U.S. slash NATO overflights are not uncommon considering Turkey is a part of NATO. Now, this cruiser was a significant piece of military equipment for Russia. Um, to hit it with one or two Neptune missiles is in, is quite impressive considering it has significant air defense systems and counter missile systems on it. I believe it is probably likely that Russia was caught off guard with, with uh, such technology and didn't realize that potentially uh, more advanced nations in the West were, were feeding intelligence back to uh, the, the, the missile system. Cause the Neptune missile is not some small system. It has to be fired from a truck. It has, it's carried on a vehicle platform and, uh, is very much devastating. Um, the cruiser that was hit packs 16 fixed launchers for P 1000 anti-ship missiles itself. It also has vertical tubes for S 300 air defense missiles and as well as, uh, 40, uh, rail launched missiles for aerial self-defense as well as two 130 millimeter guns that can be fired 15 miles away um, as well as multiple t- torpedo tubes and a helicopter pad on the back. So a very significant ship that Russia potentially could have lost. Um, I'm inclined to believe, or at least I want to believe that it was Ukraine that hit the ships with the Neptune missiles with the aid of the West but Russia is claiming it was an accident and the weapons bay blew up. I can tell you that maybe some Navy guy can tell me, but I'd be very shocked if just a ship randomly blows up in the middle of the ocean. This is Russia though. And they did have problems with their aircraft carrier dying in the middle of the ocean a couple of years back. So we'll see.